Hi friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Mary Grace. I'm so excited, you guys. We are getting back into season two of Heartstopper. We are at the halfway point now. We finished episodes three and four last time. We are halfway through. There's only eight episodes in the season. So we're going into episodes five and six today. At the end of last episode, let's see. Um, Charlie was trying to like distance himself a little bit from Nick because he doesn't want Nick to get outed. He doesn't want Nick to feel pressured to come out. Um, but Charlie really wants Nick to come out because he wants to be able to like tell everyone he's his boyfriend and like be cute and stuff in public. And they had a little challenge going. He said, I bet you can't, uh, like stop yourself from kissing me for two whole days. And I was like, boom, I know that challenge is going to be lost. And it was definitely lost because Charlie woke up at the very end of the last episode with a big old hickey on his neck. So that's where we left off last time. I'm assuming that that's where we're going to pick up this time. Um, I also think we might see Nick's dad in these episodes. I don't know how much longer we're going to get in Paris, but Nick's dad is in Paris, so maybe we'll see something between Nick and his dad. I don't know how that's gonna go because I did not love Nick's brother. Nick's brother was a big old stinky butthead. Didn't like him. <sighs> Speaking of stinky buttheads, Ben got dumped in front of everyone <laughs> and it was iconic. Imogen, love of my life, girl. Speechless. Speechless. It was everything. I'm still not over it. It's going to be my favorite moment in this show for forever. Before it was, I'm not homophobic, I'm an ally. And now it's dumping Ben in public <laughs> in France at a restaurant table while he was trying to like act all buddy buddy with Charlie, which fuck off, Ben. We don't like Ben here. Stinky, stinky, stinky little Ben. <laughs> Tao and Elle also had a nice little like reconciliation moment. Not really, they didn't really need to reconcile anything, but they just like got past some of the awkwardness. You can tell there's still something more than friends there, but um, I'm hopeful that we will see something romantic between them before we leave Paris. I just need people to start embracing the romance of Paris and just like living it up. I just need, I need that. I need that. I want it. It's all I want. I just, I just want everyone to start thriving and I feel like, I feel like we're getting there. I feel like we're going in the right direction. I hope we get like a little alone time moment between James and Isaac because I love that for him. Love that for both of them. James is very like sweet and smiley and seems like a really good fit for Isaac. But then again, we haven't really seen much of Isaac like on his own. We've only ever really seen him in the context of the friend group. And he's always kind of like an outsider in the friend group. I feel like an aunt or like a big sibling to all of them. And I just want to protect them all and I want the best for them. Like <laughs> that's how I feel when I watch this show. I'm so excited to keep going on with the show. So we are going to start with season two, episode five called Heat. <gasps> Hi, dad. Dad's not responding. Daddy issues. Can't wait. Oh. Nick's like, what? I'm sorry? Charlie said, come here. I got a hickey. I need help. <laughs> oh, it's like a bite mark, too. Did I do that? Where else did it come from, babe? I think anyone will notice. Yeah, I, I think everyone no, will notice. No, no, no one will notice. What are you two doing in that? How did you get that brief? Oh, no. <laughs> First thing you notice. You, I cannot believe Tell. the actual... It's his boyfriend. We will be having words. For what? For making out with his boyfriend? Oi, Charlie Spring. Oh, who gave you that hickey? Oh, no. <laughs> what? Uh-oh. Not hungry. I like that they're both Not wearing really. green. It's cute. Okay, well, um, I'll pack you a croissant. So if you get... Croissant? 
Sorry, that was an intrusive thought that came out. <laughs> Wait, is it true James McEwen gave you that hickey? He's the only other gay guy on the trip, so... <laughs> Did you see that guy down in reception with dark hair? I think he gave Charlie his name. Oh, God, I hate this. Now, we'll be putting you in pairs and giving you some Eiffel Tower vocabulary to translate before you start your climb to the top. Nick and Charlie, Nick and Charlie, Nick and Charlie. Charlie Spring and James McEwen. <sighs> I hate Harry. Nick Nelson and Ben. No! Hope. God. So I, I don't want to go with Nick Nelson. I don't want to go with Ben Hope. Ew. I know Harry. You think it's funny to point things out about people and get a lot of your mates, but do you ever stop and think how you're actually making people feel? Yes, Isaac, tell him off. Ben's gonna be You happy. Oh, I fucking hate him. First Charlie, now Imogen. You were the one who told her about me and Charlie, aren't you? He didn't say anything. You never cared there were either of them. Facts. You used Imogen for popularity points, and you didn't actually like Charlie. You just liked having control over him. He hates hearing the truth. What if I said I want Charlie back? Charlie's not gonna go back to you, dumb freaking butthead. Charlie didn't even give me a chance to figure myself out, and then you came along and you stole him from You me. assaulted him. At least I was nice enough not to give him a hickey where everyone could see. I want to punch Ben. This is so pretty. Hey, Nick. Is that hickey from you, then? <sighs> what if it was? <gasps> you jealous? <laughs> I'm not gay. Nah, leave him alone, lads. Come on. Just yeah, I was just about to say the same thing. Kind of. In his own way. Huh. Not the redemption I was expecting in this season. More people might think it was you who, you know. You, um, you do know it. It was me, right? <laughs> yeah, I think I remember you being there. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, good. God, I want them to kiss all the Eiffel Tower so badly. I just want everyone else to be away then. You really don't think things are gonna work out? Even if she does like me back, and even if something did happen, I'd still mess it up like I always do with everything. You don't mess things up. Yeah. Name one thing you've messed up. The cinema date? Your life multiple times? How? I'm basically the reason you got outed last year. <gasps> what? After you came out to us, I was talking about you with Isaac. Someone overheard and Next thing we know, you're getting bullied every single oh. But you know that wasn't your yeah. fault, Yeah, you? you can't control what other people say. Tao, we've been friends since the first day of year seven. Hey. Stop it, look at the little babies. But I immediately thought how cool and funny and kind you were. You were the only person I met that day that I really wanted to be friends with. Even if you make mistakes sometimes, you're a good person who deserves love. I love this. It's so sweet. Wait, isn't that for you, Nick? Oh. Best friends. That was really sweet. I love those moments with the two of them. I don't think I really understand any of the art, but it's nice to look Me too, up. Nick. You don't always need to understand it to enjoy it. I agree. I guess that's true of real life as well. What is? Like, you don't have to understand your feelings completely to know that you like something. You don't have to always have figured everything out. You can just feel. I love that. Oh, dropping wisdom. Oh, good job. Ooh. What? Come on. Oh, wait, where are we going? No idea. I love this for them. Good job, Nick, inspiring them. If we go oh, up the stairs, yeah. we can see the Greek stuff. <clears throat> Butthead. I should probably tell you, when we're on the Eiffel Tower, he said that he still liked you. Like, he, he genuinely thinks that he still has a chance of getting back with you. He doesn't. <laughs> should we get going? What's going on, baby? Oh, I don't like this. 
Charlie, what's happening? Is this show gonna break my heart? I don't need that. How come I've never even met your parents? I don't know. Come on. Is she not out to her parents? Sometimes I feel like you're hiding stuff from me. I'm not. Never met your parents. I've never been to your house and I didn't even want to say I love you back. It was just a casual, I love you. You said you didn't mean it like that. But you know I did. Oh no, things are not going well for them. Oh, that's so upsetting. So accurate. Back in the day. <clears throat> okay, Charlie, what's going on with you, babe? What's What just hit Charlie like that? I don't like that. What is this? What's going on? I don't like it. <laughs> Has he not eaten anything? Is he gonna pass out? Is that what it is? Totally. He needs the croissant! I don't know. Oh, you hear him? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Somebody get Mr. Farouk! Get that croissant! Croissant! <laughs> I thought this trip would be awful. But. I think it's my favorite holiday yet. Really? Wow. It makes me want to draw. Mm. You should. I love watching you draw. That's so sweet. I love this. Are they gonna have their moment? They should make more movies in the Louvre. I can only think of the Da Vinci Code and you would literally have to tie me to a chair if you wanted me to watch that actual monstrosity. <gasps> oh my god. Help. I'm so sorry. No, don't apologize. No. Do it again. The hands. Oh. <sighs> that was so sweet. Babies. <sighs> but if you fall in love with a girl, <laughs> Every year. I love them so much. The foot pop! Not the foot pop! She had a Princess Diaries foot pop moment. That's it. That's everything. I love them. I have chills. Chills. There is love in Paris between Elle and Tao. You sure you feel okay, Charlie? Yeah, I just haven't eaten enough today. If you need to sit down or you just want to rest on the couch, that's fine. Charlie. I've noticed you uh, don't really eat a lot. Um, generally. Yeah. I don't know, it kind of feels like it's, it's gotten worse lately. Like I feel like you eat, eat less than you used to. <sighs> you have nothing to be sorry about, I just... I'm just worried about you. I want to understand. Yeah. Oh God, I'm gonna cry. <sighs> Some days I'm fine, but other days I feel like I need to control it. I used to do it a lot last year. No. This is hitting too hard for me. Sometimes it feels like the only thing I can control in my life. Okay, maybe I don't totally get it, but I still want to know if you're feeling like that. If you're having a bad day or if there's anything that I can do to make things less stressful. I'm your boyfriend, Charlie. And I... I really care about okay. him. Okay. I thought he was gonna say he loved him. I'm just glad that he has a support system. To know that Nick like notices it and is like worried about him and is gonna like support him, like that's so sweet and so important. <sighs> that really hit my heart. <sighs> my dad wants to meet up like today. <gasps> I've never mentioned your dad before. I mean I'm guessing they're not very close. He's not really a big part of my life anymore. Yeah. Since he lives here and he's not the most reliable. Yeah. Charlie's dad is great, so one of them was about to have daddy issues. How about we promise to tell each other when we've got stuff going on? Deal. I love them. Again, the hugs. I just, I want to hug both of them. I want to be in the middle of their hug. Why are you actually meeting up with him? And how? 
I said I'd meet him in a cafe in 20 minutes. <laughs> Here's my boyfriend. I gave him this hickey last night. <laughs> I mean, you couldn't have gotten, like, one of your friends to help cover that up. Imogen or Darcy, like... I love them. We had big moments in this episode. Tao and L. That was such a sweet moment. That was like, I mean, if you could pick a first kiss, that's gotta be it, right? Like, that's gotta be what you would pick. If I could describe a perfect first kiss scenario, it would be that. That would be, it was, that was adorable. That was everything. I loved that so much. We had some intense stuff with Charlie talking about some um, unhealthy, possible disordered eating habits. Um, I have a feeling that there's gonna be a moment at the end of the season that breaks me. Like, I feel like, I feel like it's gonna come. Like, I feel like they're building up to something that's going to destroy me emotionally. And I'm not ready for it. I'm not prepared for it. I don't know how I'm gonna handle it if it does come. Also, Tara and Darcy. Oh God, I'm so nervous. I feel like they're about to fall apart. I feel like they've been, like, they were so strong at the end of season one and we've just haven't seen a lot of them this season and what we have seen has just been like so out of sync and I just, I'm so worried that they're gonna start falling apart and I really don't want that to happen. Also, did Harry kind of like start turning a new leaf? Was Isaac telling him off like maybe, maybe something that he, that like stuck with him? I'm not expecting much from him, honestly. The, the bar is below the floor with Harry, and that, I mean, it brought it to ground level. It brought it to ground level, being a basic, like, basically decent human being. So, who knows? Hopefully, we can only go up. I, we can definitely go down because Harry sucks, but, but I hope we only go up. We're gonna get right into the next episode. Just seeing the title makes me nervous. Season 2, episode 6 is called Truth slash dare, or truth or dare. <clears throat> Where is Papa? Oh, Papa! Would you feel better if I went your dare? No. No! No, please come with no. me. No! Please! He said, please come with me. I've so grown up, but what's going on? You play a lot of rugby? Yes, I'm good. This is my dad, Stefan. Uh, this is my... I'm Charlie. Nice to meet you, Charlie. So good to see you in Paris. You never visit. Well, this is kind of a school trip. When do you graduate? It must be soon now. Uh, I've still got two more years left. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, he's been real absent. Have you been seeing the size of Paris? Yeah, I mean, most of them. Uh, we went to the Eiffel Tower. Uh, second here. Um, the of this morning? Yeah. It's been really fun. Excuse me for a moment. Ugh, he's gonna ditch him. Daddy issues. They always come up. I'm sorry, boys. Something has come up and I just can't get out of it. Uh, uh... But I haven't told you my news. I'm coming to England next week. Small oh. business trip. Oh! This button will be. If he had all his brother, it'd be. Hmm. So does Charlie. He doesn't know me. Yeah. I mean, he knows I like rugby. And that's it. Yeah. I saw back to the coach. You can write about him the whole way there. I love that they can support each other. I have something to share. Share? Me and L kissed. Oh my god, Tao, you have to tell us everything okay. right now. Well, she kind of initiated it. Yeah, she did. And then we kissed again. I, I kissed her that time. Oh my god, how you did it! And then, the third kiss was like, amazing. <gasps> Three times! Oh, this is the best thing that's ever happened! Wait, so what does this mean? Are, are you two dating? I don't know, we literally had our first kiss like five hours ago. <laughs> that was loud. 
so like, are we? <laughs> <laughs> what were you gonna say? Uh, I, I, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> They're just going off to make out. Love that for them, honestly. Charlie, you literally fainted on me. Today. But how are you feeling about seeing your dad? Yeah, they've had big days. Both of them had a big day. I think I realized how stressed out you've been about. Yeah. Oh, I wish I had a Nick when I was Charlie's age. That would have been so sweet. Couldn't have let them off. <laughs> Pretty sure I did the exact same thing at that age. <laughs> you never did anything like that. No, I knew. Don't figure out your game to your late 20s. Tend to miss out on those. Beautiful game. Teenage experiences. Yeah. Probably a bit late for me to have any youthful moments of discovery. It's never too late, babe. I don't think there's an age limit on those, to be honest. Mm hmm. Never too late, babe. Fly, mommy. Is Mr. Ajayi single? Sounds like it. Sounds like he's flirting. <laughs> Not him looking at him like that. It's really sweet to see him all flustered, though. <laughs> that's that's a choice. I think you talk about it. Been, you know, not a very good girlfriend recently. I'm gonna make it up to you. I've got plans, big plans. I hope things get better between them. You did all of this. It's so fun. They getting drunk? <laughs> Town now just want to make out all the time now. Get Ooh. out. <laughs> it's a picture of us. <laughs> there is a lock on that door. You could just. Where's James? Yeah, Isaac doesn't want to do the kissing. Everyone's making out in front of Isaac. Why is Ben here? Get out, Ben. No homophobic people allowed at the queer person's birthday. Hi, James. There you are. Not hanging out with your friends. No. You? They're just teasing me about Charlie. Do they all think the hickey was you? <laughs> yeah. I told them it wasn't, but I mean, to be honest, I sort of had a crush on him last year. <laughs> I do have a crush on someone else, though. Oh, gosh, I really hope that this goes well. Is it me? really sweet. I'm so nervous. Is it okay? Are you okay, Isaac? Is this a happy moment or a confused moment? Sorry. Was it bad or... I've just never kissed anyone before. Oh. It's not that. It's just... Um... I'm sorry. Oh, James, it's not because of you. Because I think someone said that Isaac is the ace representation. It's hard to explain that when everyone around you is a horny teenager and they're not experiencing the same thing you are. Oh, no, he's crying. Oh, baby. What do you want? What, me and my boy come in, yeah? No. What do you mean, no? No. I invited you to my party. Yeah, well, no homophobes at my birthday party. That's exactly what I said. Can I not just talk to Nick and Charlie? No, they don't want to talk to you. What do you mean they don't want to talk to me? What do you want? Why, what, what's happening? I just wanted to say I'm sorry. I know I've said some homophobic stuff in the past. But I feel like I know better now. And I'll never say anything like that again. So, are we cool? Can we come in? No. You still can't come into the party. No. <laughs> Iconic. Iconic. I love 
I love that. Yeah, suck on that, Ben. I love that Charlie did that. Okay, but all this drinking is not gonna end well, though. I dare Charlie to kiss... Ben. No way. That isn't even funny. I barely know Charlie. You're such a dick, Ben. And you say you like him and you want to get back together with him? Can I do a truth instead? Okay, then. Oh, they're gonna ask who gave the hickey. Who gave you the hickey? Oh, I hate it. I hate it. I know who it was. <gasps> Baby. Me. We're dating. Oh my god. I called it. I'm so proud of him. I'm so proud of him. <sighs> Do you want us to keep it a secret? We're okay with people knowing. I'm so proud of him. I'm so proud of him. I think I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> yeah, I saw that coming, Darcy, but I'm so proud of Nick. That was so sweet. That Oh, that took so much courage. So many people around. Have food poisoning. Okay, just try and take some deep breaths. <laughs> I'll, I'll get you a sick bag. <laughs> <gasps> Not on the bed. Oh, why'd they have to show it? <laughs> I'm sorry for ruining your birthday. Hey. I wanted it to be perfect for you. So you got everyone drunk? I love you. I love you so much. Oh. I know it sounds like I don't mean it. It's drunk. That's how you know she means it. Oh, you're gonna kiss her after she puked everywhere? <laughs> I would so not. I was just sick. I don't care. It's really sweet. I'm glad that they had that moment. <laughs> Are you gonna report her? Well, she can't get in trouble for having food poisoning, can she? Good job, Mr. Farouk. Are they gonna have their own young gay experience too? I suppose I'd better head down to reception and try and get some fresh sheets. I mean, you could just share my bed. Wait, she threw up on their bed? Stupid. I'm what you said. No. It's okay. Everyone shared a bed tonight. <laughs> That's so sweet. Oh, I love that. Oh my god, this is so sweet. I love everything. And they have the room to themselves. This is so... Oh. This is so beautiful. I feel like I'm watching them fall in love in just these, like, little clips. I mean, like, we've been watching them fall in love this whole time, but it's just, like, moments like this are so sweet and special and, like, Especially in like new relationships. Ugh. Makes me want to fall in love. <laughs> Is it true you guys are dating? I really loved those episodes. Those were really sweet. That was a really sweet, like, <sighs> that was a really good way to end the Paris trip. And now I don't know what's gonna come next. I'm assuming we're gonna see Nick's dad again because Nick's dad was like, oh, I'm coming to England next week. So I think we'll probably see Nick's dad again. And now people know, like word has been spread that Nick and Charlie are dating. So people are questioning it now. So I guess we'll see the aftermath of that. See what goes down with that next time. I'm happy that the couples are like reconciling and coming back together, starting to thrive. The only thing is my baby Isaac. So someone said in one of my, in the comments of one of my season one reaction videos um, that Isaac is the ace representation for the show. And one, love that because there is 
next to no ace representation in the media these days. Like, I don't know where on the ace spectrum Isaac will fall, but like you can tell that he likes James as more than just a friend, but he doesn't want to kiss James. He's not into the kissing, not into the physical, like, stuff that doesn't do anything for him. Like, that's how it seems. That's how it's being played, like, come across is that, like, that's not, that's not his jam. Which is totally fine and completely valid. But, like I was saying earlier, like, when everyone around you is a horny teenager, it's hard to kind of articulate your feelings and feel like the things you are feeling are valid. So I hope that Isaac is able to, like, articulate it to people. Um, if not to just James, at least. Because I feel like James deserves to know if he wants to keep do like, if he and Isaac want to keep, like, getting to know each other the way that they are. But yeah, I, I love this show so much. And I can't wait to see where the last two episodes take us. I'm just so nervous. I just, I feel like... They are gonna do this to be this emotional roller coaster. We're on, we're on, we're going up the hill. We're on a high, and I feel like they're just gonna sometime in the next two episodes. I'm just gonna go straight down, and I'm gonna start bawling my eyes out, and I'm gonna be ruined emotionally. And I can't handle that. I can't handle it. I don't want to handle it. I want to live in the world where everyone is happy and in love. I love the show. I have loved watching this show with you guys. Thank you guys so much for being along this whole journey and make sure you stick around because next time we will be finishing season two of Heartstopper. I will link all of my previous Heartstopper reactions down below if you want to check them out. All of my season one and all of my previous season two reactions will be in a playlist in the description and be sure you stick around. I got some fun uh, shows, fun movies uh, planned to, to watch on the channel and if anyone has any suggestions for anything good please let me know. If there's something that you want me to watch that I have not seen, I honestly, I there's a lot of things I haven't seen. I mainly, like, for the past three years, all I've really watched is trashy reality television because my brain can't handle anything else. Um, so <laughs> let me know. Give me suggestions. You can also follow me on all my social medias. The links are in the description as always. And I will see you all next time as we finish season two of Heartstopper. I love you guys. You are valid. I hope you have a wonderful day or night wherever you are and I will see you all next time. Bye!